Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Absolutely gorgeous out here right now. 75 degrees. Very still right now. Right about at low tide. The tide's just about a repeat of how it was last night when I was out here for sunset. Beautiful sunset last night. Did you catch that video? That was great. Got a few more clouds out here in the Gulf this morning than the past couple days. Past few days we've had those beautiful, beautiful blue skies. There's a, it's like a big storm out there in the Gulf. Not as many birds out here on the sandbar this morning. Very, very quiet here. I do see our pelicans out there. Well, where shall we begin? I think we'll Take a walk down to that little spit of sand right down there. See if any interesting shells washed up on the beach last night or what else happened. I do see that our we had one nest, one sea turtle nest up here in area four. I see that hatched. Look at this, look how low the tide is now. Remember yesterday, this was all open here. Not this morning. That was so cool. When I was leaving yesterday that I saw that dolphin out by that paddle border. That was that paddle border that we were watching in my beach walk yesterday morning. And I said, you know, sometimes the dolphins like to follow the paddle borders. And lo and behold, I'm walking back to my car yesterday and it happened. I tried to get some video of it. They were kind of far offshore and it's hard to get clear video with an iPhone, but I did the best I could. But that was really neat. Beautiful out here this morning.
tide's not quite as low as it was last night. Last night, these rocks out here were all exposed. What do I see down here? Oh, nice little apple murex shell here to greet me this morning. Beautiful, beautiful little apple murex. That's a nice one. I need to pay closer attention here. That's kind of just walking around looking at the birds. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those clouds. That's a big thunderstorm out there in the Gulf. Sun's just coming up over the trees. There's a little olive shell down there. This one's missing the tip. An olive shell. It's like a little Tiny whelk shell down there. Little baby. Yep. Little baby lightning whelk. Nice little shell there. Little baby lightning whelk. Find any big shells this morning? Yesterday I found a nice pear whelk. Hey, be sure to hit that share button. Let your friends know what you're watching. Have them join in with us. You never know what we're going to see during these morning beach walks. Ooh, big rumble there. Thunder out in the Gulf way out in the Gulf. Boy, the shells are just spread all over the sandbar here. into the shade here. Beautiful. As we look up to the north here, absolutely gorgeous. 
Absolutely gorgeous. There's that big storm out in the Gulf. That's where the thunder's coming from. It's kind of down to the southwest of us and then down to the south. How about those pictures and, and video of Roy, huh, yesterday? He was in really, really good spirits. Very happy yesterday. He was so happy that he got outside on his own. That was a big achievement. Walking outside all by himself. Praise the Lord for that. There's a piece of a big scallop shell over here. This is pretty amazing. The slow tide right now. Look at this. This little tidal pool's just about empty here. Almost empty. But you can see the different levels of sand here. It's like, it looks like a cake, like a tiered cake. Almost empty though right now. I don't think there's any fish swimming around in here now, nope. back down the beach here a little ways see if there's any shells out here before a lot of people come out look at all these little sandpipers here in front of me That's so sad, seeing that dead turn yesterday. I don't know what broke its neck. It might have crashed into another bird. When they take off on a feeding frenzy, it's crazy. You see the pelicans sitting out there. There goes the pelican right there. Where's everybody at? Is everybody still in bed? Is everybody still sleeping? There's a little snowy egret there. The white bird with the long neck. And there's a couple of them here. Nope. Apparently they didn't like me this morning. There's a nice little fighting conch shell down here. We've been seeing a lot of these on our morning walks. The little baby fighting conchs. Let's 
sand out of it. Nice little shell, little baby Florida fighting conch. Looking south here, we're walking south right now. like a whelk rolling around. Oh, you know what? This whelk shell has been hanging out here for a week, just rolling in and out of the surf. <laughs> the same broken whelk. I have seen this now numerous times. I'm surprised nobody took it home, even though it's chipped up, it's still pretty. So quiet out here this morning. Very peaceful. Only saw a couple people walking out here. So far, I'm sure it's gonna get busier. There's a feather floating out there in the water. A lone feather floating by. Looks like it might be from one of our turns. You can always find some interesting feathers along the beach from the gulls and the turns. And Every once in a while, you might find an osprey feather, a nice big feather from an osprey. You find more than just seashells here. Some interesting fossils here too. Kinds of neat rocks rolling around out here in the water. You pick them up, you never know what's going to be fossilized inside one of them. There's a lot of people that come out here and just do fo go fossil hunting. seagull sitting there. Two pelicans flying by. Two 
beach walkers. Early morning walkers. That's just me snapping off a picture or two. It's gorgeous. Beautiful looking up there to the north. It's early morning light. Not as many birds as there were yesterday. I don't know where they're hiding this morning. That water's nice and flat again, though, today. It's been really calm. I don't know what it's like further out in the Gulf, but close by shore here, it's been really calm lately. People are starting to show up. I see folks starting to show up down at the south end of the park. So neat listening to the birds here. Absolutely gorgeous this morning. I'll turn around and start walking north. what we find along the beach. Not seeing a lot of stuff right now. Not a lot of shells grabbing, getting my attention. I was a little concerned last night when I was out here. The wind was blowing on shore, coming out of the Gulf. We don't want that. We want the wind to come from the east and blow out into the Gulf. There's a big horseshoe crab up on the beach here. Big dead horseshoe crab. Wow. That's a good size one. That means that probably that red tide is still out there lurking around in the Gulf. Well, it's always out there. That's a fact. It's not right here on shore, thankfully.
another broken whelk shell down here. Piece of an old lightning whelk. Well worn too, that's pretty smooth. Pelican taken off. Flying down to the south. There goes a whole bunch of pelicans. Hmm. I was looking down, they caught me off guard. Looks like there's some pelicans out on the sandbar where we were earlier now. It's kind of neat how all the birds get along with each other. All the different species. Hey, is that a big moon shell down here? Sure is. Little shark eye. Kind of got an indentation on the eye there. A little chip. No, it's a, still a keeper. Little moon shell. Just right out here in the edge of the water. Anything else out here in the water? I see a piece of a moon shell. I see the eyeball looking right up at me. Right down here. See it down there in the water? Looking right up at me. Right there. Just the top half of a moon shell. Beautiful here. As we look down to the south, pelicans diving in the water. I tell you, I'm just so happy to see the pelicans out here. That is such a good sign. All the birds diving in for fish. Lots of cockles out here. Beautiful shells out here this morning. Just gotta take your time. Stop and smell the roses. The slipper shells. Slippers everywhere. All kinds of neat little things. Little tiny slipper shell.
see some folks up to the north here. Peaceful listening to the waves and the birds. Beautiful when you get out here into the sunlight. Love watching the birds out here in the morning, listening to them. Super low tide right now, super, super low. Oh, darn it, we got some shellers up here. Those birds chirping away. Looks like the tide's slowly coming in now. A little snowy eager right out here looking for some fish. Well, yesterday morning we got a really good look at one of these guys fishing. Catching his breakfast or her breakfast.
Another little dead horseshoe crab. Actually, this is just the, the molt, the shell, the shed its shell, this little baby here. They shed their whole outer shell, an exoskeleton they call that. There's a little baby. That's its, you can see one of its eyes there. This is the, the back end there with the tail. Little horseshoe crab. So I'm glad that's not a dead one. It's just an empty shell. Thank goodness. Seen enough dead stuff on this beach. There's two neat little shells. A little jewel box on the left and an auger, an auger shell on the right. The jewel box on the left, the auger on the right. Another little olive shell here. We saw one of these earlier this morning. This one's missing its tip as well. The olive shells. You find some pretty big ones here once in a while. There are lots of pelicans flying by out in the gulf. Piece of a shark eye there. Actually, that might be a nautica. Just the eye. Another nice little fighting conch shell. Nice little fighting, fighting conch. Little clam shell down here. Yeah, somebody's already walked along here. Beat me to the big shells, I'm sure. But you never know. It's very easy to walk by something. It's all about the way the light's hitting the shells in the morning. The light can play tricks. Those moon shells and murex shells can be hard to spot sometimes in the morning light. heard another rumble of thunder out in the Gulf. You got a pretty good sized storm down there to the southwest. This piece of a little murex shell. It's just missing the top. Missing the tip of it. A little. Looks like it might have been an apple murex. This piece of one. morning. Listen to those waves. What a beautiful sound, huh?
Just little waves breaking on the shore here. Nothing major. There's a little sliver of a rainbow in the sky out there. I don't know if you can see it out there. It's a little sliver of a rainbow. Some pelicans flying by. Oops, crashing into the water. Beautiful out here. Just a little tiny piece of a rainbow up there. Really hard to see. One of Roy's favorite things, rainbows in the morning out there in the Gulf. We might have a little, a little piece of beach to get by up here this morning. We'll see. There's a big chunky piece of worm shell down here. Look at that. That's a big thick piece of a worm shell. That's pretty cool. Usually we find the tips. Here's a piece of the shell. There's the top of a moon shell. Nice big piece. Wow. Top of a moon. Maybe a nautica. Gaudy, gaudy, gaudy nautica. Just the top of it. And you can look inside there in the spirals. Lots of little worm tips out here this morning. There's a moon, moon shell just washed up. Boy, look at that, the eye is, this one's kind of faded out. Not much color left to this one. This is an old one. Just kind of washed up with the wave. Ooh, there's a beautiful little fighting conch. Look at that one. That's a beauty there. That is a beautiful little fighting conch shell. Usually they're much lighter in color. That's a nice one. Lots of beautiful little slipper shells out here on the beach this morning. Lots of little slipper shells. Let's see if we can make it by the trees. 
get up to Wiggins Pass for a quick look around this morning. Good morning. A few fish swimming around out here just now. You didn't see those schools like we did the past couple of mornings. All those little bait fish though are still out here in the water. <clears throat> well, I just saw them jumping up ahead of me. Just as I said that. Something's jumping around over in here. What do we got over here? An old Old pear whelk. That's an old pear whelk. Over here, a big old lightning whelk. Look at that. Big lightning, big old lightning whelk. Wow. Very neat. Here you can see the difference, even though they're old and broken. Really old and worn. You can see how the pear whelk's a lot smoother on the right and it has. The opening on the opposite side of the lightning whelk. A pear whelk and a lightning whelk, both really old, two very old shells. And there's two black slipper shells over there. Two black slipper shells. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You gotta be careful if you leave your sandals along the beach here. This tide comes in really fast. You gonna wash your flip flops. Out into the Gulf really quick. <laughs> Lots of old worn shells here along the beach. It's a really old conch shell. Worn flat. There's another conch starting to fade away, lose its color. Usually they're a deep orange color, an orangish red. This one's almost beige. Is there a dolphin out here? Oh, there's a dolphin. Yep, it's pretty far offshore though. Swimming up to the north. Let's see if we can see him out there. There he is. I don't know if you can see him or not. See if he pops up again. I don't know if he, oh, there's a, another one way out there. There's a couple of them. Just barely see him out there. Now they're swimming out straight out away from us. It's good to know they're here. Really hard to see them. They're blending right in with the color of the water here this morning. Ah. Swimming right towards that marker out there. Oh, there's a couple of them out here. 
Just chasing some fish. And where'd they go? Well, now they're making their way back down the beach. Out over in there. They're just a little too far offshore for us to see them with the camera. Darn it. Well, it's nice to know they're out there. Looks like they're heading back down the beach. And maybe we'll see them on the way back. Keep our fingers crossed. There's another one playing way, way out there. Way out, there's a dolphin playing out there. There's a couple of them heading south. Maybe we'll see them when that sun gets a little stronger. Maybe they'll come in a little closer to shore for us. Another old, an old moon shell. A lot of old shells washed up on the beach right in this stretch here, up in Area 5. There's a scallop. Scallop shell. Kind of a orangey white color. Nice little scallop. Beautiful out there though this morning. Well, I'm sweating. Kind of humid. That's a beautiful blue heron that just took off. Where'd he go? Not too far behind me. Yep, took off into the gulf. A little fish just jumping across the water, something chasing it. Well, those dolphins haven't come any closer. They're still pretty far out in the Gulf. Hmm. 
<laughs> Boy, it's gorgeous up here at Wiggins Pass. Beautiful as we look to the north, the sky is a lot bluer. Here's the two shells I hung yesterday, the cockle shell and the paper fig. Hung this one here for Roy, the paper fig, the paper fig. And that was the one I hung for all of our friends watching that can't make it to the beach, the cockle shell there. We'll take a quick look at Wiggins Pass, then head back. Wiggins Pass is the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, part of the namesake of the park. It's just ahead of me here, past these trees. A couple fishermen up there in the pass. Well, there's a really big piece of worm rock over here, buried in the sand. Holy Moses! Whoa! I wash the sand off of that. That's a big piece of worm rock. Didn't look that big in this buried. Wow. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful hunk of worm rock. Look at that. Get it out in the sunlight here. Look at all those worm tubes. Wow. I just grew around that of those oyster shells. That is an incredible, incredible hunk of worm rock there. That is a really, really nice specimen. I got no way to carry that. Wow. That is awesome. Somebody's looking for a nice piece of worm rock. Here it is, right up in area five. Oh, wish I could carry that.
just on the other side of Wiggins Pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve. Another gorgeous, gorgeous beach. Not a lot of shells here. Now up here you do find some nice ones out in the water. An old clam shell. What is that? Oh, just a pebble. I thought maybe it was a moon shell. Just a rock. So beautiful up here at the pass. Looking for something interesting. Nothing is jumping out at me here. It's gorgeous here, though. Morning.
Not really seeing much of anything up here this morning. Up by the pass as far as shells. A lot of shells, but mostly broken shells, a lot of clam shells. Absolutely beautiful though out here this morning. That's looking east up the Coquihatchee River. And looking north across Wiggins Pass at Barefoot Beach. Beautiful blue sky. One lone fisherman down here. Looks like he's got something on his line. We cannot see the screen here at all. It's totally gone dark on me. I thought he had something. Nope. Got it. Nope. Uh -huh. Start heading back. Looks like it's raining out there in the Gulf. I hope you can see something here because I've lost everything on my screen. That's the downside of these darn phones. When you have them outside for a long time, you leave them on for a long time, the screens go dark on you. Especially the hotter it is outside. north there towards Benita Beach. So nice to see people on the other side of the pass there. That beach, all of our beaches were deserted there for quite a while with the red tide, but now finally they're starting to make a comeback. People are starting to come back to the beach. The fish are returning, the birds, the dolphins. Life is returning to our beaches in Southwest Florida. Now to the north of us, it's a little different story. Still, still very bad up in Lee County. Collier County is starting to recover. Thank goodness.
Beautiful over here with the sea oats. Bench to sit on, check out the sunrise. Sea oats are so beautiful. Now they're starting to lose their blooms, drop their seeds. There's a couple still starting to pop. There's one right here getting ready to bloom. But if you look at them close, you can see why they call them sea oats. See how they look like oats? The sea oats. Now these are protected by law. You're not allowed to pick them or tamper with them, run through them, keep your kids out of them. The roots of these sea oats are what hold our, our dunes together. So please stay out of the dunes. So beautiful though. Look at them all up here. Look at them all. And here's all. See the seeds down here? Look at them all down there. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at how thick they are here. Just incredible. And there's a big empty patch right back there for some reason. Very strange. These were all knocked down, buried under the sand after Hurricane Irma just about a year ago. September 13th is when Irma came through. We lost all our sea oats along the beach. Finally, they're all recovering and making a comeback. raining out there in the Gulf. One of the boardwalks here at the park. This takes you back to the pavilion up in Area 5 and parking lot 5 and over to the observation tower, which is that away. It's really not much of an observation tower anymore. The trees have overgrown it. But it's still neat to go up there and take your picture up at the treetops. Big difference from yesterday, huh? That beautiful blue sky. Still gorgeous though. There's that huge chunk of worm rock I was showing you earlier. Man, that is a great specimen right there. <laughs> somebody, somebody stuck a conch shell in it. Now that's funny. Somebody stuck a conch shell in it since we looked at it. That is a beautiful piece of worm rock there. Nice little table piece. I'm gonna set it higher up on the beach. I'm sure somebody's going to collect that, pick it up. That is awesome right there. Oops.
Well, hopefully the tide hasn't come up too too far. Hopefully I'm still making around here, making around the trees and back down the beach. We lost so much of our beach up here at the north end of the park. I did see several dolphins out in the Gulf. They were pretty far offshore this morning. So that's good news as well. The birds, the dolphins all coming back. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. If you enjoy these beach walks, let your friends know about it. Of course, nobody pays me to be out here doing this. Southwest Florida Television isn't some big television network. <laughs> it's the name of my Facebook page here. And we also have a channel in a few of the local hotels with some visitor information called Southwest Florida Television. But you know, if anybody is feeling generous, and would like to make a little contribution, I'll tell you what, it always comes in handy. It makes my wife happy. I spend a lot of time out here doing this and posting stuff on Facebook, and it kind of frustrates her that I'm doing this and not other things. <laughs> a lot of you wives know how your husbands are. They get into their little habits. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it is always appreciated. And every once in a while, somebody does, and I'm very thankful for it. A little later, you can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post. Somebody out there in the water, enjoying the warm water. It's actually starting to cool down, I think, a little bit, finally. Coming up to that one stretch where there's really not a lot of beach. Over the course of a year or so, this beach just got completely washed away here. Sad, it's really sad. There's some fish jumping right out here in the water. Looks like maybe some mullet. We're at low tide and you can see there is not a lot of beach there. Not a lot of beach. We actually had a sea turtle Came up the dunes here, crawled all crawled up this dune, way up here. That was quite a crawl. Made a nest way back in there. I don't know if you can see the picnic area back there. Made a nest back there this season. That was pretty impressive.
Kind of overcast out here this morning. Well, there's no beach left here now. There was a little, a little piece of beach when I walked out here earlier this morning. Now it's completely gone. That's that down here in the water. An old pear whelk. Look at that. A really old pear whelk. That's an old one. You gotta stop and look in the water sometimes when you're shelling. Lots of little fish still swimming around out here. That's a very good sign. Keep those birds fed. Keep the bigger fish happy. No dead fish floating out in the water. A good, you know, if you're curious about the red tide situation, boy, there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of these little fingerlings, little baby fish swimming by here. Thousands of them. If you're curious about the red tide, Google NOAA, N-O-A-A, -A, red tide, NOAA, N-O-A-A. -A. Is that the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration or something? I don't know, something like that. But uh, NOAA, red tide, and you'll find the forecasts for all of Florida. Just pick what area you're wanting to know about. to keep our friend Roy in your prayers. He was a really happy camper yesterday, as you could tell in the video I shared and the couple photos of him that you saw. He is so happy, so happy that he got himself outside yesterday morning to watch the sunrise. And then last night again, he got outside with a few of his friends. I think Astrid was over there and Karen and I don't know if Tom was with her. Karen and Tom, Blair, Jennifer Ann was there with them. Jennifer Ann spends a lot of time there with them. Thank you, Jennifer. Everybody's always looking for visitors. Always looking for visitors. He's at... Solaris Healthcare up in North Naples on 41, right in front of the entrance to the Imperial Golf Course there, Imperial Golf Estates, whatever they call it, Imperial, almost Benita, up in North Naples on 41, Solaris. All you got to do is click on where it says Solaris Healthcare Imperial in my posts in the descriptions there and it'll give you the address. The Roy's always up for visitors. If he's not in his room, he might be outside in the butterfly garden or he might be in his physical therapy. 
and you can see him in there doing his exercises. They don't stop you. Good morning. Roy says the more visitors, the merrier. Every once in a while he gets a little tuckered out. And just keep an eye on him and if he looks like he's getting tired, just encourage him to relax. But he's definitely pushing himself now and that's good. He's starting to eat better too, thankfully. Nice rain out there in the Gulf this morning. Hopefully it won't blow any of that dirty old red tide back at us. I'm gonna take one more quick little walk out on that sandbar down by the birds. Starting to close up now as the tide slowly comes in. Gotta be careful around the edges of this sandbar. It's very, very soft. The sand, you just sink right down in. I went right up to my knees one day. I'm like, oh my Lord, I thought I was gonna go under. I mean, literally up past my knees, I sunk right straight down into the sand in less than a second. It's the first time that ever happened to me. It made me think about people that step into quicksand. Ugh, what a horrible, horrible way to go. There's our beach, Roy's beach right there. Roy's pine trees right there. That's where Audrey's bench is, right back in there. I miss you out here, Roy. We got, we're gonna have some fun little stories to tell when he gets back to the beach about some of the things that have happened to him while he's been in the nursing home, in the nursing facility. Some funny little stories. <laughs> Are they embarrassing? Nah, maybe. But it's just part of life. We have had some good laughs, him and I, over there. Roy has not lost his sense of humor, that's for sure. There's a nice little fighting cock down in the water. That's a beautiful little shell right there. Beautiful little fighting cock. Oh, well, we've lost the sun behind some clouds here. Let's see, we got some high altitude stuff that's moving in. I don't know what the rain forecast is for today. Yesterday we went with an, an afternoon without rain. Kind of amazing. This is where I was last night for sunset, right out in this area. Beautiful. Be sure to check that video out. Took a, shared a few nice little photos. You just never know what sunset is going to bring here. It's always different. Look at all these turns. Look at them all.
all there's pelicans sitting out there. I don't know if you can see them out there. That's all pelicans sitting out there. Put the storm clouds behind them. Listen to all these guys chirping. Chirping away. I'm gonna get out in the water and go around them. They're all squawking. They're looking for mates. Showing off for their mates. They're so beautiful, these turns. If I can zoom in on them here. Beautiful birds. Gulls there, seagulls. Little sandbar is just full of them. One of my favorite views right here. Try to zoom in. Can't. Darn it. I can't get, every once in a while the camera gets stuck here. I gotta go to selfie mode to do the zoom thing. Yeah, it's not zoomed, darn it. It's gorgeous here, though, with all these birds.
<clears throat> let's not forget out in the water we got our pelicans there's our pelicans sitting out there just offshore Well, the clouds are starting to roll in here, losing our nice crisp sunlight. I hope you enjoyed this morning's beach walk. <clears throat> if you did and you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Nobody pays me to do this. I put a lot of time into this Facebook page. Hoping that everyone enjoys it. Hoping that someone enjoys it. I know there's a lot of people that do enjoy it. So if you want to help out, help me pay the phone bill, whatever. Pay the bills. I appreciate it. Summertime's always slow here business-wise. Things don't really pick up for about another month. So every, every little bit helps, especially this time of year. This is my favorite, my favorite spot at the beach right now is this little sandbar with all the birds, as you can tell. I love it out here. I'm going to give you one more look around. I see that. A little shame, that poor... Poor dead turn that we found yesterday is still on the beach. That's sad. Look at all these little sandpipers. Watch, they're gonna start scurrying around as I get close to them. See them all that right there, that group of little birds there. They'll just move across the beach like a little wave. They just hop along. <laughs> They're so cute. The other birds just kind of sleeping here on the beach, some of them. See them there sleeping? There's three of them there. Where are they? One, one up here, a couple here. They're just kind of laying there sleeping, sleeping away. They're not dead. Oh. Very, very peaceful out here. Sanderlings, I believe, is what you call those little sandpipers. So cool. Well, again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday, wherever you might be. Remember to keep our friend Roy in your prayers. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Please take the time to check out my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. And when you do, be sure to hit the share button and the like button. Also, follow and like Southwest Florida Television both. Make sure you subscribe to get notifications when I go live. I have no clue when I'm going live. I have no schedule. It's just when the mood strikes, the timing strikes. I won't be out here tomorrow morning. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be out here for several days. I'll try to make it out for sunsets. That'd be fun. Last night's sunset was nice. If I don't make it in the morning, I'll try to get out here for sunset. Hey, a great 
Sunday buffet, by the way, at the VFW in Benita Springs, $7.99 for their breakfast buffet. It's right up by the Naples dog track, or the Naples Fort Myers dog track, Fort Myers, Naples, whatever they call it. Everybody knows where the dog track is in Benita. The Benita Springs VFW Sunday morning breakfast buffet, $7.99. Goes from 8 to 11. All right, have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.